Yes, my friends, it is the final cut. Mark the Movie Man here, and today I've got an independent film for you of a different nature. This is a surreal, dark tale called Doom Room. It's brought to us by John Keyes, who also co-wrote the screenplay with Carl Kirshner. And here we get the story of Jane Doe. She wakes up in a room uh, and does not remember who she is or quite the events that happened that led her to be in this creepy, dark, unusual location that just has all these very scary images to it. And while she's down there, she runs into a group of characters that help her remember not only of how she got there and who she is, but also help her tackle the dilemma of human nature. And we see how all of these unusual cast of characters come together to bring about Jane Doe to the realization of what what exactly happened to her and why. Doom Room was a fantastic exploration into not only what drives us as humans, what makes us as humans, but what is considered good and bad in our culture. And I loved that exploration, but there's so much going on in here. Now, Joanna Stanton plays Jane Doe and it's a very believable performance in here that she doesn't remember who she is or how she got there. And then you see how her character grows as she comes to a realization of what exactly is going on. And the cast of characters around her helps her out and they are very surreal as well. Uh, you have uh, the one character named Innocence who is played by Hayden uh, Tweedy, and I loved her performance in here. Very different from the surroundings uh, that they're in. This character is upbeat and naive, as she's supposed to be, but a very different contrast to the rest of the characters who are in here. There's a character in here who can't see. Loved that metaphor in here. Debbie Rashan puts in a solid performance as the wife. So creepy, so good, so dark in this film. She throws her entire self into this character and you can feel that come across screen. You don't see Debbie Rishan. You see uh, this individual called the wife who you're going to detest along with her character husband played fantastically by Matthew Tompkins. Uh, Nicholas Ball shows up in here and I loved his performance as well. Everybody does well in here. It's got this De Palma-esque kind of Raising Cane type of style to it. The surrealness really will keep you guessing of exactly what's going on and as you move along and more and more is revealed you are going to stay engrossed in these characters to see how everything plays out and I will tell you I was a bit surprised of where they went with this film uh, so yeah Doom Room uh, is definitely one for those who like their darker surreal indie films I think if you're a fan of Debbie Rashan or just solidly produced indie horror you're going to like this it deals with some very graphic and extreme situations and there is nudity in here so there is a warning there for you out there who that might make you a little turn you off a little bit but for the rest of you out there who don't mind that i think you'll appreciate doom room and uh find that it is one of the better uh, darker indie films to come out uh this month so Doom Room, if you do see it, please leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on this interesting indie film. Please subscribe if you have not already. I thank you for your support as always. And remember, keep that ticket stub.